This video got me to think about what the dictionary definition of masculine is. I don't actually particularly agree with the dictionary definition of it. To me, it's primarily about someone's mannerisms, the way they talk, the way they carry themselves. That's the primary thing. I think because so someone can be really feminine, there could be a really feminine woman, and she could do something heroic. Her heroic. Her heroic. Heroic. There. So, so add a W and that, 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 that makes the, the word work. A woman, a very feminine... Jeez, what was that? Anyway, a very... A very feminine woman can do heroic things. Do we consider her masculine because she did those things? Are we going to say, oh, that's a very masculine thing she did? No. We're going to probably just say it's a heroic thing that she did. I do think some of these definitions that we see for what masculine is, is probably a little bit off. Something I don't want to see is people, like, posting pictures of drag queens and saying, I'm masculine. You know, no, no, sorry, no, that, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't work. And that's the kind of thing that I kind of worry about. I've actually seen it before, and it just kind of makes me cringe a little bit. But, then again, my definition of masculine isn't the dictionary one. So, uh, again, I think it's all about mannerisms, the way you carry yourself. Masculine. Adjective. Having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with men. If it was just that definition, especially with the word traditionally, I'd be all right with it. Especially strength and aggressiveness. See, there's where it gets kind of funny. I don't think strength should be considered a masculine trait. I don't know. Um, I mean, men naturally tend to be stronger than women, but for that to be considered a masculine quality, is, is, I don't know, I just think it's stretching things a little bit. But that's what's in the dictionary. But, uh. Some of the synonyms are macho, manly. So just picture, I'm so butch, I'm so manly. Muscular. <laughs> Well-built. Red-blooded. Red-blooded? Yeah, I'll agree, all of those are really, really preposterous. My goodness. Strapping. Strong. Brawny. Powerful. None of these really sound like me. <laughs> I think that definition is a little scary. It's too small for something so big. It's all about trying to get people to conform and be a certain way. I think that's what gets us in trouble is when we say that there's only one way to be a man. See, this is where I chime in and say that you don't have to be masculine to be a man. So many individuals, they try and fit, and it just gets to a point where it's too much. I see peer pressure as a toxic mechanism, not the dictionary. Where they are doing harm to each other, and harm to themselves. You don't have to do that. You define your own masculinity. You define who you are. True, for yourself, but you don't define the word in the dictionary, nor do you define other people's views of what masculinity is. For me, being masculine is being honest. This is the body that I have. This is what I know. So to me, this is what a man is. As I said before, you can be a lot of things and be a man. I thought this was a discussion about the word masculine. For me, being masculine means being brave enough to be who I am. That's just called being brave. Being able to smile, being able to cry, being able to love and be loved. Those traits aren't masculine nor feminine. What, what in the world? That's the man I want to be. That's fine, but that has nothing to do with being masculine nor feminine. What does it mean to me to be masculine? Um, it's more a question of what does it mean to be human? Ow. Oh, that's painful. That's as painful as people who say there's no such thing as race. Oh. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop, please. Just please stop. <laughs> B.
Bonobos Ubuntu Hakuna Matata. <laughs>